Okay, all right, so I wanna be like, take two. Okay, welcome again. Facebook Friday, Frilichi Friday. I don't know, something was funny and it was gonna, I was like, I'm not gonna be able to handle that for the next hour with like, it was like this teeny tiny little screen of what's going on and I'm like, I can't really, I just can't handle it. So I apologize, I'm gonna give you guys a minute to uh, pop back on, so sorry about that. But like I was saying, it's a beautiful fall day. Hello, Miss Teresa here in Michigan, the last Friday in October, the leaves have all fallen. That's the plan, like I was saying, for the weekend is to get out there and get those leaves raked. And it's gonna be great weather. Plus, you know what, actually, here I am, I was like, oh, I'm gonna wear this pretty fall shirt today. And I should be wearing this weekend is the Michigan, Michigan State football game. Hey, Philomena, I'm glad you're back. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, so I should be wearing my maize and blue. What the heck am I thinking? I'm like, that's not till tomorrow night, so it's like not totally on my brain. Um, so bummer. All right, well, I'll have to wear my maize and blue before the um, Ohio State football game. I guess that's Thanksgiving weekend. So we got a little bit of time for that. So anyway, yeah, so we're like, all right, like ready, let's go, go blue. Hopefully we have a great game tomorrow night. Um, okay, so we've got lots of fun to be had here today. We are playing with, this is the Celebrate with Tags bundle. So we've got this stamp set is such a cute stamp set. And I want to point out, uh, it's not just for the holidays too, because we've got this fun little happy birthday sentiment and the little balloon there too. You can make winter cards with it, with that little um, uh, mitten, right? Hello, Beth, thanks for joining us. So, and also we always need like two from, these are good size to and from stamps because a lot of times they're like teeny tiny and I don't write little. So I like that there's a bigger two from there that. I can actually use like with my size handwriting, right? Um, let's see, so we do have, we've got a Merry Christmas, we've got an XO, XO maybe you could use that, obviously for holidays, for birthday, for Valentine's Day. The little Be Jolly is super cute. We got the glare there, right? Um, let's celebrate you, that's perfect for lots of different occasions, really. The little sprinkle of hearts. And then this one is fun too, this Made with Love. Sorry, glare, I think we've got that there. And then the set of dies, it's a huge set. They actually put it in like this extra long package, I think because we've got the one, <clears throat> like this one right here is a tag that will flip open. You can kind of see like the hinge right there. Um, so I gotta pull it out because there's actually, there are two sheets in here. So there's that one that I just showed you. And then there's also this one right here too. So we'll go long ways right here. Cause the fun thing is like that little banner actually coordinates, you see with that made with love. Can you see you flip it that way? And then you flip it upside down the other way to get the made and the love die cut out of there. Um, this one is another tag. This one actually folds up and then you could slide a gift card or something inside. I'll show you guys how to use that today. Cause can you see again, it folds in half right there. And then those little um, seams kind of on the side there too. Just a fun little circle with stitching, um, a square, a rectangle, not a square, a rectangle. And I'm not even sure, well, I haven't played with that one yet. I always mean to, you know, like when you get a new set of dies, what I really need to do is put every single one of these and every single one of these on a piece of paper and see what happens. Um, and I thought, you know, I'm gonna start doing that. Um, I think I did it once, so. Anyway, what happens is then I have all these pieces all over my craft table and I can't throw them away. Then I'm like, then the craft table is a total mess trying to like, oh, maybe I'll use that someday, right? So I don't know if you guys do that too, but yeah, my craft room, the table gets a little out of control with all my extra supplies that like, oh, I just can't get rid of it yet because I might use it for something. Um, but anyway, there's the little mitten, um, that little banner with the XO and the beach Jolly. There is the balloon upside down love, that snowflake. And then we've got a couple of hearts, like a big heart and a little heart. And then um, some um, birthday candles or I guess I was gonna say Christmas candles, but probably not birthday candles, right? So anyway, an awesome set of dies, coordinates with the stamp set. We're gonna have lots and lots of fun playing with these uh, in just a little while on Facebook Live. Okay, there's one die that's like, keeps moving. I don't know, I think I need it too. So I'm afraid I gotta put these back in the package so that it doesn't fall off um, and I lose it and then what the heck would I do, right? 
We are also using some of the, what's it called? The Sweetest Christmas Designer Series paper on these projects. So I did go with a holiday theme for both of them, but I do love to point out that that stamp set is great for other occasions beyond holidays. Because sometimes I think people feel like, oh, they've gotten so many like holiday Christmas stamp sets. Like, do I really need another one? Well, it's great if you get one like that that also has other um, things that you can use it for as well. Janina, hello, thanks for joining us. So, okay, let's see, what do we wanna talk about next? So, couple more days of the starter kit deal. Oh, you're so funny, I love how you tag people. I finally figured that out now that that's what you do on there, Janina. Thank you, that's great. That's like a special way of sharing just for people that you think might be interested. So I'll say hello to Deborah and to Sandy. Hopefully you guys get a chance to watch Facebook Live at some point. Um, and hello, Deb, welcome, welcome. Okay, so yeah, starter kit deal. If you guys, especially this is like the perfect time, like get your um, Christmas card supplies, your Christmas projects, your treats, whatever you're gonna make for friends, family, coworkers. Yes, ah, oh, these, that's awesome. It's easier, yeah, and these are your card making friends. I love that. Thank you, Janina, I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Um, so yeah, so starter kit, right? Okay, awesome, awesome deal. Bonnie, hello, welcome. So glad you can be here with us. It's so fun seeing all the names pop up. Um, I feel like I haven't been here in a little while because we actually had the one day retreat last weekend. So I knew last Friday was gonna be a bust. Like in, in my past, I would have been like, oh yeah, I can do that. I can do Facebook Live, I can get set up, I can shop, I can do all the things I do, need to do. And now I'm like, okay, uh, you know, once you get over 50, you're like, okay, do I really need to kill myself every single day? So I had to like take last Friday off so that we could be ready for the one day retreat. I'll show you guys that fun stuff in just a little bit. Sorry, I'm like, it, I'm like squirrel today, definitely like, oh my God, all these different things I wanna tell you guys about. But okay, so focus, getting back to what I was talking about, starter kit deal, okay? Because we only have, what's to 28, 29, 30, 31, we only have four more days of October to get the awesome starter kit deal. So like I was saying, think about um, somebody that might want to make like Christmas cards, projects, that sort of thing, Thanksgiving, uh, New Year's, uh, maybe thinking ahead to like birthdays, Valentine's Day. Anyway, anybody that you can think of that would love to buy a bunch of Stampin' Up! stuff, tell them about the starter kit deal, okay? Because it's so awesome. And many of us know this, right? Because many of us, our demonstrators have bought the starter kit, are enjoying our 20% discount on our future orders, but backing up to get the starter kit deal right now for the next four days, you get to back $155 in product and you pay only $99 plus sales tax. That 11% shipping fee is waived as well. Thanks, Beth. I'm glad you're enjoying the video. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, it's an awesome, awesome deal. Four more days. If you're interested, you get to become a part of our team, our Inspired Stampers team, which is a fabulous group of ladies. Uh, we have a separate Facebook group for our team, for our Inspired Stampers. We have team meetings every month that I also do on Facebook Live. Um, we do swaps, even our long distance members mail their swap cards in and I um, spread them out to everybody, swap them with everybody, and then I mail them back, your swaps back to you. We have creative challenges, we have business challenges, um, we have make and takes that we do every single month. If you're one of my current team members, you can order the make and takes, I mail them to you. You can put them together with us at the meeting or um, at another time at your leisure and convenience. Um, just lots and lots of great opportunities for you. You get all my PDF tutorials for free for becoming an expired stamper, buying the starter kit either through me or anybody on my team as well. So something to think about it. It's always a great deal. Plus you always get that 20% discount after that first amazing starter kit deal order that you put in. Okay, so let me know if you have any questions on that. I'd love to help you get started on that if you're interested. Um, oh, and actually, so speaking of our team meeting, we did that last week on Tuesday. Our team meetings are always the third Tuesday of every month. So if you're a current expired stamper and you're not hopping on Facebook, make sure you do that. Mark your calendar for the third Tuesday of every month because we do our team meeting. I will show you guys. Okay, so these were the make and takes that we made last month with the warm welcome bundle, which is actually something that as demonstrators, we could pre-order in October 
Is that right? Or maybe it was September. I'm trying to remember now. I'm like getting my dates kind of mixed up. We can't order it right now. That's what I do know, but it will be available again in um, the next January to June mini catalog. So it was kind of like a little sneak peek teaser that you could order for a little while. And so we did that. We had some awesome fun. They were a little bit detailed. I do have to say we did do quite a bit of stamping. Um, but anyway, I think they were totally worth the effort. So this is the first card. And I will admit, um, these cards are all cased from ideas I found on Pinterest. So I apologize. I, I'm so bad. Sometimes I just completely forget to write down the names of who I found these projects like designed by. This one I'm pretty sure was Mary Fish at Stampin' Pretty. She used a different color uh, so, you know, palette, but the, the basic layout of the card was hers. So I can, I can remember some of them, but not always all of them. But if you go to Pinterest, honestly, and, and I always type in Stampin' Up and Warm Welcome will be the stamp set, this card will pop up so you can see it too. So this was the first one that we made. So the super cute, right? Like the little, like we're cheersing our little um, coffee mugs or hot, hot cocoa mugs. And it says, let's spend time together. So that was one of them. Then this one is super cute too, like for a baby, right? A little boy, maybe a little hello, little one with the cute little shoes die cut. You can die cut, um, stamp and die cut those. And that little um, rectangle there too with the welcome that is in that warm welcome set of dies also. This is kind of a fun one too, right? It's it's your day with the birthday. Another Pinterest find. Again, I can't remember who I cased that one from. I think this was Julie Davison is who um, this one I found on Pinterest too. So here's another cute little welcome, like you're heading to a new neighbor's door and um, giving them a little bouquet of flowers, right, to say welcome to the neighborhood, right? So super cute cards. Those were our make and takes. Again, if you're a current Inkspired stamper, you can get all those parts and pieces mailed to you every single month. So keep that in mind. If you're not doing that yet, I'd love to have you part to participate in that. Sorry, I get so excited. Um, when we did the one day retreat last weekend, you know, I get up in front of everybody and I do some announcements. And when I sat back down, my friend Stacy was like, man, you talked fast. And it made me realize like, okay, you know, I, cause I, I'm always like, okay, I don't want to like waste people's time. But then I think sometimes people wouldn't mind if I just like maybe took an extra moment or two. Cause you probably get exhausted just like listening to me talk so fast too. Right. So, <laughs> Hey Lori, how are you? Thanks for joining. Okay. So in addition, I also love to send out cards to my top five sellers each month. So this was the fun little card that I made and send out. Now this one I'm pretty sure I cased from Brian King. He is an awesome, very simple stamping, um, but a great demonstrator. Um, and so I love to, when I need like kind of a quick, simple, easy card, I love to go check out Brian King's cards. I'm sure I found this one on Pinterest also, but I love, so this is that um, die set that we used. I think it's the brightest glow or labels of glow dies but I love that, like it just kind of die cut all those little holes. Um, and then the little, um, all is merry and bright there too. So all my top five sellers um, received this card in the mail as a congratulations for being number one through five in our Inkspired Stampers group. I also love to um, reward anyone that has more than $600 in sales in a month. I love to send um, basically fun little freebies to you. $600 club prize, I call it, because I love to highlight the fact that once you have more than $600 in sales in a month, Stampin' Up! actually pays you an additional income. They call it volume rebate, but it's basically an addition, additional income or commission um, on your orders. So I love to make sure everybody knows about that, especially if, if you're close, if you're at like $550 in sales, bump it up to 600 because you're gonna get um, free money back from Stampin' Up. Um, so this is what I gave everybody too. Um, so in addition to free money from Stampin' Up, you also get a free embellishment from me. So this month I gave, and not it wasn't a partial package, it was a full package, but this real red and garden green ribbon combo pack is what everyone in the $600 club received this month. And then as well, swapping. I mentioned our swapping too. We, I have to show you guys. Okay, and I'm gonna try, I think most of them are labeled. <clears throat> oh yeah, this one was Julie's swap card. She loves to, she's got these um, fancy little um, card holder thingies so she can put the full card in there. These are not Stampin' Up, but I think that they are fabulous, right? So there's that, and then there's the inside, and then um, she puts the envelope 
on the back there too. I had to like peel the sticky off real quick. I'm like, okay, yeah, that one was Julie's. Then this is beautiful too. This one is Jenny Bachman's swap. And I love, I don't know that I've even used that die, but look at that beautiful gold, um, glim not glimmer paper. It's like the gold foil, right? Isn't that, it's just gorgeous, right? A beautiful Christmas card there. Then we had Miss Sharon made this one right here. She used a bunch of that Celebrate Everything Designer Series paper. This is the host designer series paper that is in the um, holiday catalog. So she made a bunch of different um, patterns with the different paper in there too. So this one happened to be kind of holiday themed. She knows I like pink, um, so she gave me this one right here too. So isn't that beautiful, right? And then let's see, oh, this one is great. This one is from Susie Meekumber, um, and it says, wishing you a speedy recovery, because you never know when you need a card like this, right, with that little cute little Kleenex box there. Super duper cute. Then this one is from Elsie. She's one of our newest inspired stampers. That fun little card there, too. And it says, sending birthday wishes. Beautiful job, Miss Elsie. And then lastly, Miss Charlene Mogg made this card right here. Another super cute um, Christmas card. So yeah, if you're interested, you can participate in our swap as well. Like I said, even long distance members, make your swap cards, mail them in to me. By the third Tuesday of the month, I swap them out with everybody at the meeting and I'll mail them back to you. So it's a great way to get some other fun ideas um, and maybe not have to buy everything, right? To make the cute ideas so you can share them with your friends. Or then if something catches your eye, then you're like, oh, I didn't even notice that stamp set or that paper. Um, and it might inspire you to want to create more projects with those things as well. Um, okay, so let's see. Anything else to tell you guys about? Um, I think we're good. I'm like looking at my table, trying to make sure we're like staying on top of things. Actually, I'm gonna like clear some things off the table so I don't get confused. That will be good for me. Less confusion is better, <laughs> All right, ladies? Okay, I think, right, let me, mm -hmm, yep, we're ready. Let's do our first drawing. Okay, we are giving away the adhesive backed stars today. This beautiful set, it's kind of an iridescent. Hello, Deb, thanks for watching. I know uh, Janina tagged you, so I'm so glad that you're popping over to see what's going on. Um, okay, so we're gonna give these stars away. If you're new to Facebook Live, I wanna make sure that you know this. If you share this video right now, I'm gonna tell you in just a sec what your name will go in the drawing for on our next Facebook Live. This, um, your name right now is in, if you shared the last Facebook Live video, your name is in here. Uh, in my basket, I guess I should say, to win these star embellishments. The other way that you can get your name in here is my class to go kit post, which I actually just did um, earlier today because today's the last day for that joyful flurry class to go. If you share that post, you get your name in the drawing. And then if you're new to me and haven't signed up for my email list, you get your name into the drawing. So here's my little basket right here. I've got lots of names in here. Again, sharing the Facebook Live video, sharing the class to go kit post, and signing up for my email list. The email list link will be above this Facebook Live video after I get it uploaded this afternoon. Okay, so lots of names in here, and we will, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm like getting a frog in my throat. One lucky winner. It's starting to get that time of year too. When I was talking so much at our meeting um, last week, I got like the dry throat, you know, where like you can't talk, you're all croaky and you, you think you're gonna like cough to death. So yeah, that's always awful when that happens. And it's always on these kind of things. Here I am, I'm like trying to get a couple stuck together, I'm trying to get them separated. You know, I'm gonna jinx myself and it'll probably happen today. No, don't let it happen, don't let it happen. Okay, so here we go. One name in my hand, and it goes to Miss Bonnie Pasternak. All right, congratulations, Bonnie. Thank you for sharing the video. You are the winner of the Adhesive Backed Stars, so I will get those sent out to you. Congratulations. Okay, I'm gonna dump those names out of there. Let me get the other ones in here so we're ready to go. So. On our next Facebook Live, which we are actually going to do one week from today, I, I generally am going like every other week, but I need to do Facebook Live next Friday because the following Friday, I'm going to be going to onstage down in Indianapolis, Indiana. So I won't be able to do Facebook Live two weeks from today. So I'm going to do it next Friday right here. Would it be? It's either November 4th or 5th. I'm going to say the 4th, actually. I think it's the 4th. So we'll be back live here next Friday, November 4th for our next Facebook Live 
on that Facebook Live, we will draw for, these are the beautiful, the iridescent pearls. I don't know if you can get that. They're that pretty, you know, the iridescent kind of opaly. Um, look to the pearls, they're beautiful. Kind of little baby ones and then a little bit bigger ones. Um, just beautiful kind of bling that you can add to your holiday projects. So again, share this Facebook Live video right here. Share the Class to Go Kit post that's right here on our Facebook group. Just posted it this morning or sign up for my email list. And your name will go in next Friday's drawing to win these little iridescent pearls. Okay. <clears throat> All right, I gotta like catch my throat there. Yes, Beth, I know. Can't wait for on stage. I agree. Getting super excited about that. So yeah, Beth and I are heading down to Indianapolis. We are going to, um, we'll get to see the new uh, January to June mini catalog. We will, you're welcome, Bonnie. Um, we will get to see the new celebration brochure. Both of those things will go live to customers uh, in January. If you're a demonstrator, you can start pre-ordering out of those catalogs in December. Another great reason to get the starter kit deal. If you do that right now, you get that awesome deal, and then you'll be able to get those products early in December, just like we all do as demonstrators. So something to think about, right? Okay, um, let's see, let's see, what else? Um, oh, I had that down here twice. Okay, yep, we already showed all of that. Um, oh, let's do this, okay? So I wanna show you guys, um, I think I mentioned, right? We had our one day retreat last weekend right here in Alma and we had so much fun. I love that day, it's exhausting, I will tell you. I get home that night after everything is done. My kids are actually here for the weekend. They were home for fall break, which I was, I have to say, a little bummed because I wouldn't probably have planned like my one day retreat on the weekend they were going to be home, but I didn't know that that was happening when I planned it. But in hindsight, it actually worked out really well because they showed up at like 8.30 on Saturday night. It ends at nine o'clock. Um, and they just came in and like were this flurry of activity and helped me put all the tables and chairs back the way they're supposed to be because I move everything around. So it's a ton of work to get everything put back the way it's supposed to be and everything put away. They were a huge, huge help because by the end of the day, you know, it's a lot of work to like put everything back. So they were a huge, 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 huge help for me um, to get everything back. And then my friend Stacy was here too and she was also an amazing helper too. So, but the day was great we had so much fun we laugh we eat we eat a lot we like I feed you guys all day long it's definitely not like good for the diet kind of day um but you know you gotta splurge every once in a while right plus you're like just crafting and having fun so it's great to like my thing was candy corn so I had a few candy corns while I was crafting away right um but let me show you okay so I give everybody a goodie bag first of all and I don't even have one here but I'm going to kind of show you guys what I put in the goodie bag. So everybody got a full package of, this is the Santa Express designer series paper. You can kind of see all the patterns that I'm gonna show you because the make and takes actually featured that designer series paper. They also got a full package of, um, actually I have them right here. Well, this is not a full package, but <laughs> this is my messy package. The adhesive backed uh, seasonal sequins. So there are red, green, gold, and white sequins. So everybody got those. And then they also got a bolt of the Evening Evergreen, uh, one of our in color, our like last year in color ribbons, okay? So let me show you, it'll make more sense probably when I show you the make and takes. So this was the first one. And again, I keep these simple because people wanna come and do like whatever crafting projects that they bring, but I also love to kind of give them a little something to do when they need a break from whatever they're working on and then also see how they can use the products in their goodie bag. So this is some of that Santa Express designer series paper. There's a little bit of that evening evergreen ribbon. This one I actually did not put any of the sequins on there. And then just the cute little Christmas cheer. Um, oh, actually that's right. They also got a half a package of the glimmer paper, the red and white glimmer paper. So they use their paper there too on that one. So here's another one, another fun little pattern in that Santa Express DSP. There are a couple of those sequins and then more of the ribbon. And then another simple one, right? So this one uses some of the white glimmer paper, the ribbon, and then there are a couple of sequins. And again, more of that Santa Express designer series paper. So you can see simple cards, but great um, way to showcase the designer series paper. And then this last one, 
again, more of the Santa Express DSP, some of the um, Evening Evergreen Ribbon, and then a couple of the sequins with the little So Very Merry on there also. And then, okay, so I love to make treats for everybody too. So, all right, scooting things out of the way. I made two different treats and this one, one, one of the gals left early, so I still have to get this to her, so I have an extra one. The other treats, she was, well, I don't have anything left over, so I apologize. I, th I have pictures, so I'll get everything uploaded to my blog at gatheringinspiration.com so you can kind of see all of that too. And I tried to take more pictures of everybody at the retreat so you could really kind of see the setup and what it looks like and what we all have going on. Um, so anyway, but this is one of the little treats that I made, again, with the ribbon, the Evening Evergreen ribbon, some of those sequins, and then more of the Santa Express Designer Series paper. Now I will tell you, this is actually cased from kind of two different things. So this is um, one of the little treat boxes from Paper Pumpkin for September. So you can see it's like a little slider box, right? Like this. Can you see that? Kind of get the idea. So Angie Judah at Chicken Scratch actually like pulled this little box apart and figured out how to make them. So she's got a video and a tutorial right on her blog. So I love Angie for little 3D treats. She always makes super cute little um, 3D projects. So I was over on her blog checking things out and I'm like, oh, I wanna make this little guy too. So again, it's just like the paper pumpkin box. So you can see it slides open. Actually, paper pumpkin probably slides a little bit easier, you know, because their measurements are a little bit more precise. But you get the idea, right? A couple of the little um, candy bars fit in there perfectly. So isn't that so fun? And we, I even use like the little um, circle punch to make the little tabs so you can kind of pull. Um, but isn't that so cute, right? So, so much fun. Um, love making treats for everybody. I think because I love buying chocolate and candy and putting it in there and then eating some myself too. So, you know, sorry, confessions of a like a sweet tooth girl, <laughs> I think. Um, okay, let's move this guy out of the way. What else do we have going on? Are we ready to do our next? We might be. Yes, yes, let's do our next drawing, okay? Um, oh, thank you, Philomena, I'm glad you guys like those and you're always so sweet. I'm, I think you love the treats as much as I do, don't you, Philomena? They're just, yeah, they're fun, aren't they? Um, okay, so yeah, we're gonna do, I've got names in here. Okay, so just so you know, if you're new to Facebook Live or you haven't seen in a while, I wanna make sure you guys know, I love to give like thank yous for your online orders, okay? So you guys know this, right? If you order through me using the host code that's on my blog, and I'll give it to you in just a couple minutes, or if you did um, recently since our last Facebook Live, you automatically get these two cards that I demonstrated on our last Facebook Live. So this was the fun one with the um, designer series paper. It's gonna open that way, isn't it? Because it's backwards, right? There's that one right there. And then this one is fun also because we've got that designer series paper and then the back side there too. Okay, so again, spend at least $50 through me using the host code. You automatically get these two cards as a thank you from me. You also get to pick from the free embellishment for October, which are these um, fine sparkle adhesive back gems, or the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial, which features this cute little box, bunch of 3D projects in this particular tutorial for October. Again, you could learn how to make that fun little box right there too. So pick either one of those, either the embellishment or the PDF tutorial, and your name is in the drawing to win the Window Wishes stamp set. So super cute, I love, There's, I think it's like that little um, station wagon, because you don't really have station wagons anymore, right? But it kind of takes you back in time, right? And that cute little house, some fun sentiments, May happy moments and wonderful memories be yours this season. That's a great sentiment, right? And then we've got peace from our hearts to yours. I was gonna say home, but I didn't think that was right. Um, and then let's see, maybe you could use Merry Wishes for lots of joy at Christmas. So super cute little stamp set. This is what your name is in the drawing if you put an online order through me um, anytime between our last Facebook Live and this Wednesday at midnight. So thank you guys for your orders. I'd love to um, get your thank you packages sent out to you. Um, oh, and actually let me, before I draw, right, I want to do a quick reminder. If you bump your order up to $100, you also get 
five free handmade cards from me. I have Christmas cards, or if you want all occasion cards, you just let me know. Um, but again, if you order over $100, you also get five free handmade cards too. So, okay, here we go. One lucky winner of the Window Wishes stamp set, and it goes to Miss Melissa Garalski. All right, congratulations, Melissa. You are the winner of the Window Wishes stamp set, and thank you for your order. Thank all of you for your online orders. I do, as I say, truly appreciate, truly, truly appreciate those orders from you. So thank you, thank you. Okay. What do I, oh, what are we going to give away on our next Facebook Live, right? So it's on order. This is kind of how I've been rolling lately. I'm like a little bit behind, I feel like, but I'll have it by our next Facebook Live. I ordered, this is out of the annual catalog because I thought, I don't know, do people have enough holiday things? You, I never know, right? And I always feel like we like kind of jump past this annual catalog because as soon as this comes out, it feels like a month later we have the holiday catalog. So there's so much good stuff in here too. So I ordered this stamp set right here. It is called, yes, Graceful Tiles. You can see lots of beautiful imagery there, right? Kind of uh, the mosaic look, I think, which is so pretty and great sentiments. I'm gonna just read them to you because I can't do it backwards. What a year, here's to another one just as great. Happy birthday. Um, because of you, oh, I laugh a little harder, cry a little less, and smile a lot more. Uh, sending love your way, the perfect way to celebrate. Ooh, there's a happy anniversary. I can always use one of those because there aren't too many stamp sets that have that sentiment in there. And then, so glad you live in my little corner of the world. Oh, so cute, right? Okay, and then all that fun kind of mosaic um, and tile imagery there too. So that's what we'll give away. If you order through me, uh, spending at least $50, your name will go in the drawing to win that mosaic tile stamp set along with all of the other goodies as thank yous for your online orders. Okay, um, I think we are ready. We are going to move the camera down. I'm starting a new host code for November already, even though it's still just the very end of October. So honestly, whichever host code you use is fine. The one that's still on my blog or this one that I give you, it's really not a big deal, but just use one of the host codes and I'll make sure to get you all your goodies as thank yous. Okay, so turn your heads away. We are gonna fly through the air and do some more stamping. I've got some more fun stuff to show you guys too. Okay. So we've got that, everything feels secure. Sometimes things are a little loose, there we go. Okay, so this is our host code for November, the 77SEJBC4. So that's what you wanna use when you order through me. And thank you very much for doing that. Okay, um, ooh, okay, so last day, I'm just gonna bring this whole pack of stuff over here. It's kind of a mess, but that's what we got going here. Joyful flurry class to go. Today is the last day to RSVP for this beautiful class to go. I'm not really even going to go through the details. I just want you guys to know you're going to love these cards. Okay, they feature the joyful flurry stamp set, the whatever these are called, the frosted flurry dies. It's a huge set of dies too, right? So we've got those and those. These things cut out um, just the detail, I think. Yeah, now I'm trying to remember. I'm pretty sure that's how it worked. Um, these cut out the outlines. Eh, that doesn't seem right because I think this one cuts out the outline too. These I know just pop things up. These two I think cut out also. I think that was another set that I did that with. I don't know. They get kind of confusing, but it's a beautiful set. I promise. Beautiful set of dyes. Um, they also feature some of the Fresh Freesia ribbon, the adhesive back sequins and gems, and the, um, I don't know, is that the Snowflake Vellum Designer Series paper? Some has kind of silver and some has like a white flocking. These are the four cards you can make though. We've got this one. It's a season of magic and wonder. We've got a joyful wishes. I've already lost a sequin. I've been carrying these things around, taking them to the retreat and classes. So they get a little jumbled up. I love those sequins, this little let it snow, and another it's a season of magic and wonder. So those four cards you can make, a couple of different options. 
I have been emailing and posting about it, and I will include the link in the details above this Facebook Live video um, this afternoon. But today is the last day. So if you want one of these class to go kits, let me know. I'm ordering this afternoon, and I will get them sent out to you um, by November 9th. And I'm hoping to do it much earlier than that. Um, I always just have to give myself enough time if somebody orders at the last minute um, so that I can get everything ordered and um, put together for you. So love to get one of those class to go kits sent out to you, though. Oh, and keep in mind too, um, I do have something called the Class To Go Club. If you love those Class To Go kits and think you want to get them every month, you can do that. Join the Class To Go Club. Basically, you can order either option number one or number two every single month. I send everything out to you. I love to send cute little club member treats to you. And one month, you're the host and you get at least $30 in free host benefits as well. So if you have any questions on that, let me know. All right, I think we are ready. I've shown you guys everything on my table. Yes, okay, let's do our stamping. Okay, we're gonna pull. Get my grid paper ready. We've got a little glare, but I'm not complaining because that means it's sunny and beautiful. Okay, quick sip of water. <laughs> All right, which one of these are we gonna make first, I think? I want to do this guy first. Yeah, I'm gonna switch it around. Okay, so here we go. First card again with the Celebrate with Tag stamp set. So we've got those cute little mittens. I used some of the sequins and then some of the garden green ribbon on there. And then as well, this designer series paper, which is called what? It's called the Sweetest Christmas. Love all that kind of like candy cane stripey designer series paper. Oh, actually, speaking of that, here, here is all of, here are all of the different patterns in that stripey kind of candy cane paper, right? Let me just get these all spread out here for you guys, right? Okay, so there's one side, right? The reds and greens. So it's real red. This is actually sweet sorbet. We have garden green, and then there's a little hint of pool party in a couple of these too. So there's one side. And then here is the other side of the paper. And again, with the kind of traditional reds and greens and lots of candy games and polka dots and all this fun stuff. So beautiful package of designer series paper as well. All right, let's do it, ladies. Let me start pulling my stuff out here. Okay. Do, do, do. I think I have, there we go, okay. So we are gonna start, let me give you measurements. You guys know this, but just in case you're new to Facebook Live, I will put the dimensions, item codes, like product codes, colors, everything that you need to uh, order and recreate these cards will be on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com this afternoon. Okay, so we start, this is garden green cardstock along the eight and a half inch side. We cut it in half at four and a quarter inches and then along the 11 inch side, right? So there's our cut in half. Then along the 11 inch side, we scored it tall card like this at five and a half inches, okay? Then we have a piece of, there's a basic white designer series paper in here. My very typical measurement of four by five and a quarter inches for the inside of the card. Then we have a piece right here, sweet sorbet cardstock that measures three and one quarter by four and a half inches. So that's gonna go right there. And that fun little sweetest Christmas designer series paper. This one measures three inches by four and a quarter inches, okay? So those are all kind of the precise measurements. And then I've got some more scraps of basic white and the white, can you guys see that? The glimmer, shimmery, woo, beautiful paper for our little snowflakes there too. Okay, so let's see. Okay, I have everything, right? I'm like, whoa, where do I start? <laughs> okay, and actually just kind of tucked behind there, I wanna show you guys. We are gonna use this, um, this tag die. This is the one, okay. It goes right there with the Be Jolly. I'm gonna set it right there because it won't stick. Um, I need to, yeah, get a little more adhesive on there, but we're gonna use this one. So that one goes right there and it folds in half. I actually tacked it together. I just loved kind of to have that little backdrop on there. Uh, and we're gonna need that one and that one also. Okay, 
So we'll just pull those off right now. So those are all ready to go. And okay, so this one is part of that. I also was trying to make sure I didn't use um, the wrong paper. So that's for that, right? And then those, okay. So we are going to, let's pull that one over here too. Okay, so we're gonna stamp our mittens and our Be Jolly. Okay, so pool party ink, of course, because that's pool party in the designer series paper. It told me that in the catalog too. You guys know that, right? Where is that holiday catalog? Oh, buried. Where did it go? Here it is. Okay. In the catalogs, right? And actually, I can even show you right here, too. They give you, so this is not the designer series paper that we're using. This was the one that was given at um, the one-day retreat. But they tell you the colors that coordinate. So pull these colors of ink, cardstock, ribbon, embellishments. It makes it so easy. That is truly the beauty of Stampin' Up, right? Um, that everything coordinates. So we are actually working this time with the sweetest Christmas designer series paper. So again, like I said, colors, sweet sorbet, real red, garden green, and pool party are what was used in there. And then they even show you with these sweets, right? This ribbon, those sequins, which are some of what we are using today on these projects. Okay, so long-winded way of saying we're gonna use our pool party ink. Okay, nice, easy though, tap, tap, tap. Press straight down, lift straight up. Okay, so there's that. I love the little button. I covered them up, but I think that's so cute, just that little button in the corner there. My mom used to knit too, and I always remember her making um, mittens for my sister and I with, of course, that string that went through our coats so that they would hang down through the sleeves so we wouldn't lose them. <laughs> I'm sure it still happened, but you know, she did her darndest to help us out. Okay, we're going to stamp Merry Christmas on the inside with our sweet sorbet ink pad. Okay, um, let's see, here we go. We've got sweet sorbet, nice, easy, tap, tap, tap. Here we go, press straight down, lift straight up, there we go. Okay, and then one more sweet sorbet. I'm gonna stamp right on here, my little Be Jolly. Again, push straight down and straight up. I was reminded by <laughs> <laughs> all of the ink everywhere on all of like maybe not that one but this sort of clear block when we did our make and takes I don't know how people they I think I always laugh like with the full body weight stamping like I think people take the stamp and press so hard like with the heel of their hand and then they end up getting ink all around which you just don't need to do but I think people are always worried they're not going to get enough ink on their on their stamp um so yeah anyway we were just kind of laughing as we were cleaning things up at the retreat uh this weekend <laughs> okay so here we go we're gonna do our die cutting um i'm gonna put my glasses on i feel like that could be helpful for this stage of what we got going here mm, this one and this one we're gonna have to do a couple twice so that's okay because we have two mittens and two snowflakes and this is probably good. We've got, um, we, we'll have another attempt at this thing wings, which it likes to do. The first one that I cut was totally crooked because I didn't catch that it kind of winged off of itself. You guys like my new cutting pads too? Woohoo! they're like brand new. You can barely even, they're like glass, right? Oh, <laughs> okay. It would be helpful if I put the die on that one, right? Okay, that worked really well though. Okay, so there's one. Okay, check out, ooh. Can you guys see? I don't know, can you can you see that? Now like it's super sunny, but ooh. And it's got even like a little bit of stitching in there too. Okay, well, here we go. Mm. What did I do? Oh, it's right here in front of my face. <laughs> help, ladies, help. <laughs> Okay, let's see if this one will stay here. Yeah, so we're gonna have to run this back and forth a time or two because I forgot to put the die on that mitten. I'm sure you guys were all watching like, Amy, <laughs> you wanna like push a button, like meep, 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 Amy, you forgot to put the die on there. <laughs> oh, well, you know. Okay, so there's one of our mittens. So cute, huh? We love that. All right. Okay, so we're gonna do another mitten. And 
We've got that. And then here, this is the fun little tag that I want you guys to see because it does kind of get covered up. I kind of got so excited about putting the ribbon and sequins and mittens and everything on that um, it gets a little maybe lost in the details, but I'll show you guys when we get going. So it's a super cute. So the, the fun thing is these could be tags or obviously you can use them on your cards as well. Okay, so check this out because isn't this so cute? There we go. So there's the tag. It's already perforated, so it just nice and easy folds, right? So you could use this as a little gift tag, right? And do something on the inside. I just kind of, Brenda, hello. Thanks for joining today. Um, I just use this, like I said, as like a little backdrop, but I love the little baby scallops on there too. Okay, so I think, throw all those in there. I think we have everything that we need to put our card together. All right, so here we go. Mm, all right, do we need adhesive? Where? Ooh, did I forget it? I thought I brought everything over here, but now I'm looking, I'm like, I don't think I have my adhesive here. Okay, one moment, I am going to grab that. Right in my little holder where I always keep it in my craft room. Okay. All right. So let's put this Merry Christmas sentiment on the inside of our card. You guys know the run it, tip it back, right? Got to remember to do that. And it does really work. Okay. So on the back side, run it and tip it back, run it, tip it back. Keep doing that. And it kind of cuts it breaks it enough so it's all ready to go. I have less times where I have to advance it forward now than I used to, at least. Okay, run it, tip it back, run it, tip it back. There we go. And I'll just kind of put that on there on a little bit of an angle, okay? Next, I am going to, you could have some fun and leave this open. Um, maybe we'll try that. I don't know, is it gonna pop up? We'll see. We can always adhere it down. We're gonna just put some adhesive on the back of this and that can go right about there. Yeah, so you could do something fun even on that, right? Okay, we are going to put a couple of dimensionals behind our, hello, Teresa. Glad you can be here with us and thanks, Deb. I'm glad you like this card. I was having fun with it myself. Okay. So let's see, we're going to get the dimensionals peeled off. All right, we're going to put, oh, I see, you know, what's going to happen. Well, we might just make this one a little bit different because I meant to put my ribbon through um, the little holes before I put it on the card, but I clearly missed that step. So we're going to just tie a bow and tack it on. Okay. Those dimensionals, right? They're always a little bit futzy at times. Okay, I'm gonna grab my little silicone mat so that I can add some adhesive behind my snowflakes without getting it on my grid paper, on my work paper, okay? So we're gonna put one right there, and that'll kind of hold it down too, won't it, if I put these here? And one right there. You could still flip it up if you wanted to, right? Then actually one more. We're gonna use our little, <laughs> the patterns on, yes, the it is, uh, Philomena is saying adorable mittens. Yes, the pattern, super cute, huh? Actually, I don't wanna cover up those little buttons. So we're gonna do this one, right? I don't know, do you, I know there's so much, like I don't wanna cover up any of it, right? I guess I could just put it somewhere else, right? That might be a thing too. Okay, so that's kind of the basic idea. We are going to add, this one we're gonna just, um, tie it might even be easier to do that instead of you guys can see I kind of looped it through um, that one but you can always just tie a bow and tack it on with a glue dot too so we're going to do that with this one since I had already adhered it down on my card so lots of different options and choices it's totally up to you what you want to do okay so we're going to snip that off we are gonna put a glue dot behind here. Ooh, oh, how funny. Huh, 
These are really, really old. I found these in my stash. Okay, these are like mega glue. I don't know if you guys can even see that. Those might be handy at times. Might be a little big for this one, but okay. <laughs> the mega glue dot there we have. Okay. That's too funny. I didn't even look at those. I just grabbed them. Yeah, look at those. Can you guys see? Maybe you can't there in the glare. <laughs> They're really big. Anyway, okay. So last then we also need a couple of sequins. Okay, so we are going to use our, hello Debbie, our green, I'm going to call them garden green, and then some of our white sequins too. Okay, so we're going to add a couple of our little green. One there, kind of add them to the little mittens, and then I just put a couple of the white ones in the center. I didn't want to detract from like the glitteriness of the paper, so I kind of thought the white on white was a pretty idea, right? There. Oh my gosh, look at all of that. Hello. <laughs> You're so late. That's so funny, Robin. Hey, better late than never, we always say, right? Yeah, so there is card number one. So cute, right? With the little, man, am I gonna have to move my table? I think I am because it's kind of distracting me how, oh, but it's so bright and sunny and we just can't complain about that in Michigan, not this time of year because it's gonna be, <laughs> we're not gonna have enough of it these days. All right. I am gonna move my table though, just so we don't have quite as much of a glare. Is it gonna be possible to get out of the... <laughs> okay, hold on, I'm gonna shift a little bit more. There, I think that might do it. Are we good? Yep, okay, there. Now we're not so glare right? Okay, so yes, again, card number one right there for you guys. Okay, all right, let's clean stuff up just for a quick sec. Um, you know, again, um, so that I don't get confused on what I'm doing with stuff and which things I need. So we're going to clean these things off with our little chamois. Okay. Get these guys out of the way. Okay. Project number two. Now I have to share with you guys. Um, oh, let me show you what I'm going to show you first. So I'm going to show you this card first. So this was a swap from Sharon Greening, one of my Inkspired Stampers, I think maybe last month or so. Um, I loved this card. Now Sharon, she will tell us she likes to do a lot of what she calls YouTube research. So she spends a lot of time um, no, Robin, there's nothing on the chamois, just water. It comes, it's funny, when it first comes to you, it's a little bit damp. Like, I don't know if they put water or something else on it, but I don't ever put anything on it. Obviously, there is a lot of ink on here, and I do um, clean it. What happens is, you can't tell, but it's pretty hard after a while. Like, it comes damp, you run it under water, and it will clean, well, it rinses out some of the ink that I think gets absorbed in here. It doesn't ever look pretty again. It starts out a really pretty pale purple, and then it turns into this, basically, after you use it. You can see I don't rub on the edges quite as much as I do right in the middle. Um, but then when it gets um, kind of dried out, you just run it underwater. There, you can kind of tell, right? It's a lot more flimsy right here than it is right here. It's like a little bit harder. But yeah, just run it underwater, and it kind of rinses out some of the ink. I think I've heard of people even washing them like in the washing machine. I've never done that. It's just so weird. I it, It's great. It's so easy to work with too. So, okay, back to, <laughs> no, no, you're fine. That's what I'm here for. I love the question. So thank you. Um, okay. Yes. Yeah, so this card, Sharon Greening, one of my Inkspired Stampers on our team, loves to do her YouTube research. So I meant to ask her where she got this card um, layout idea from, because I'm sure she found it on, on YouTube or Pinterest somewhere, it, but I didn't. So anyway, I'm not trying to take credit for the fun fold idea, but I thought it was so cute. So I want to share this with you guys and then show you, I basically basically kind of figured out the dimensions and how to do it myself and made this holiday card for us. So same basic layout as Sharon's swap card, again, that I received a couple months ago. And then this one, so it's actually got the cute 
tag right here. This one, I was going to flip it open, but that's not how this one works. Amy, don't forget that. It actually opens from the inside right here. I'll show you when we put it together. So that's the belly band, but you could, when you untie this, you could slip like a gift card right in there. And I'll show you that when we're making our project. But then here is the fold on that one too. So isn't that so cute? So let me show you how we're going to make this card. Okay, and I've got lots of notes <laughs> to try to direct um, how to make this card. So hopefully that all goes well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm like saying a little prayer because I do remember this took a little bit of time to kind of figure out how to do it. Um, okay, but let's see. Let's bring, actually, let's bring the card back into view. All right, where's my notes? Yeah, I need to keep that handy, don't I? Okay, so we have, we're gonna start, there are quite a few pieces to this, I will tell you that. We're gonna start with a piece of cardstock. So we had our eight and a half by 11 piece of real red cardstock. We cut along, actually this is a little different, on the eight and a half inch side, we cut it at five and a half inches. So there's gonna be a strip of real red. Keep that for later, you're gonna use that actually for that tag right there, okay? So again, along the eight and a half inch side, you're gonna cut it at five and a half inches. Then along the 11 inch side, you are gonna score it at three and three eighths inch on both sides. So three and three eighths, flip it over, and again, three and three eighths, okay? You guys, can you see that? I'm trying to see if that, there, now we're in view, right? Okay, so there's the card base going to go like that, okay? Next, oh, hold on. Then, how did I, let me look at this for a sec. Yeah, this is how we did this. Then I made a little tick mark at four and a quarter inches along the five and a half inch side. So make a little tick mark at four and a quarter there, flip it over, make a little tick mark at four and a quarter there. You can kind of even see my little black mark. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a big piece of, um, some scissors that I think have length on them and you're gonna cut from that little tick mark at four and a quarter inches up to the score mark. Same thing here. Find your tick mark at four and a quarter inches and cut up to the score mark there, okay? So that's how that fold works, all right? Next we have, let's see, we are going to do, and I didn't do these because I wanted to show you guys what I meant by that. Um, these are, I've got two pieces of garden green cardstock that measure three and one eighth by five and a quarter. So again, two at three and one eighth by five and a quarter. And all of these measurements will be on my blog this afternoon, okay? Then we took our garden green cardstock and along the long side, along the five and a quarter side, inch side, we put a little tick mark at four inches, okay? And same idea, we're gonna cut from four inches up to the corner right there. And these just don't have to be absolutely precise. I, I just wasn't that worried and somehow it did work out okay. So we're gonna find our little tick mark and we're gonna cut up to the, so you can see there's a little something right there. I just don't think it's a big deal, okay? So then these pieces are going to go. There's gonna be one right here and then there's gonna be one right there. So actually let's just put those on right now so that we kind of have them out of the way, okay? Okay, so here's the one side and you're gonna wanna make sure that you have them going the right direction, okay? Um, when you put the adhesive on, because if you put them both going the same way, you're gonna have a problem. So make sure you check that one out and it's gonna go that way. So flip it over and then add your adhesive, okay? And there's definitely kind of, you know, be keeping in mind about that because when you go to do your designer series paper, you're definitely going to want to make sure you do that correctly because I didn't. That's why I have this piece already cut because we need two pieces of designer series paper that measure three inches by five inches, okay? And then we are going to find the three and seven eighth inch mark or line. And we're gonna, again, cut from that little three and seven eighths up to the corner. But what you need to make sure is I've already got this one cut going this way, right? 
So now this one, because I cut them both going the same way and then they didn't fit. I was gonna have to put that one on like that and I didn't wanna do that, right? So this one, we have to make sure, and where is my tick mark now? There it is, right there, okay. So I think we're gonna be okay, right? We've got this one going right here. So we're gonna cut from the tick mark up to the corner. You can, can you guys even see, there's my little tick mark right there. Okay, so again, that was at three and seven eighths inch and I'm gonna cut up to the corner and then that one is gonna go on that side, okay? So do your first one, figure out where it goes, and then make sure your other one you have going the right way and then cut it, okay? Because like I said, I just cut both of them the exact same way and one of them wasn't going the right way after all. So I kept it for this card and figured it out when I was working on that one for Facebook Live. Okay, so that one goes there, and then we're gonna add some more adhesive here. Okay. And we're gonna add this guy right there. Okay, there we go. So that's what we've got so far, all right? I'm gonna just double check and make sure that I told you guys about all those things, right? Um, yep. Okay, so I think we're good. Now on the inside, did I open that up and even show you? I guess I did, right? Let's go ahead and do our stamping and just get these pieces so that they're all in there ready to go. So we have a piece of garden green cardstock that measures four by five and a quarter, and then a piece of basic white that measures three and seven eighths by five and one eighth. And the idea was to kind of um, you can see how we've got just a little space between the white and the green on here and here. So I want to do that on the inside also, okay? So let me just stamp my little hearts, okay, in our real red ink, because that's what we're using in terms of cardstock, right? I'm gonna stamp those right there, just kind of get that one done and out of the way, okay? So we're gonna add our garden green cardstock on the inside of our card. Okay, here we go there. And then our basic white will go on the inside and then we'll finish the outside of our card. Okay, pop this one back in here. There we go, we still have that glare, right? But it's sunny, it's sunny, sunny, sunny. Okay, you know what else we can do? I can tell you guys about the measurements for the belly band, we can get that one done too, okay? So garden green cardstock, this one measures one and a quarter by nine and a half inches. And then just a little piece of DSP that we're gonna put on the front of the belly band that measures one and one eighth by four and a quarter, okay? So I found it was easiest Let's see, the fold is gonna go like that because I've got my sequins on that side. It's not really a big deal, but I think it's easiest to just lay your card down, okay? And then flip, and so I didn't even score anything because I don't want it to be too tight because I wanna be able to slide it off, but I also don't want it to be too loose so that it just like falls right off, right? But we're gonna just add some adhesive on both of those. And I'm gonna just kind of press firmly, but not, again, I wanna be able to slide it, okay? So that's gonna be able to slide on and off, and we're gonna put the seam on the inside so that then our paper will cover that up, okay? Or on the top, I guess I should say, instead of putting the seam on the back there. Okay, and then we're just gonna have a little bit of our green cardstock, oops, popping out from behind our designer series paper, right? Okay, so there we go. Um, let's see, next, right, we've got this right here. I am going to make the tag, okay? So we're gonna just die cut this with our tag. This is a piece of designer series paper that's gonna go on our tag that measures three and one quarter by two inches, okay? And then the other one that you need to make sure that you have is that little piece of white cardstock right there. And this one is one and seven eighths by two inches, okay? And then I have another scrap piece where we're gonna stamp this made with you again and then we're gonna die cut those pieces out, okay? So we're gonna stamp it on here and we're just gonna see the width 
through there, and then I'm going to pop those up on dimensionals, okay? So let's scoot these things right here, all that stuff out of the way, okay? So what do we have? Oops, I covered it up. We're gonna do our Made with Love in Garden Green Ink. We're gonna make sure it's going the right way. Okay, so nice, easy tap, tap, tap. I'm gonna stamp one on there first, and those are the ones I'm gonna die cut. Now this is the one I want to get kind of centered top to bottom, side to side, as well as I can. I think I didn't love how I did this one, and you don't even know. I actually flipped this piece over, stamped on the back. You cannot see it behind all of that. And I feel like that's a little bit crooked there too. So we're gonna just try it one more time. It's because I'm trying to show you guys, and then the camera's like totally in my way too. So we'll see if that, okay. All right, that's not as crooked anyway, right? Whatever, I think it's fine. Okay, so we've got that and that. <clears throat> Okay, we're gonna keep this one over here. So we need to do our die cutting with our dies that are right here. Okay, so from this little guy, right, we're gonna use that one and we're gonna use that one. But I love, check out the stitching on that rectangle and that circle. Fun stuff, right? Okay, let me grab my die cutting machine and we will crank these babies through. We are going to, I'm actually gonna, sorry, did I just make that wiggle? We're gonna cut that, okay? Because we're gonna have to run. Sometimes, like this would be one where I kind of wish they gave us two labels. And sometimes they do that, right? Have you guys noticed that? Like sometimes they're giving us more than one of something, but not on this one. Okay, so it can go either way, right? The label can kind of be upside down, like on the love, or right side up, like on the made. Let's see. I just put that, I put my clear cutting piece on my stamp with the ink, and now I'm like, uh-oh, is there any ink on there? Hopefully not. Okay. All right, we've got one. As long as it doesn't show up on my white <laughs> little love piece. Ooh, so cute, huh? Okay, so there's one. Let's do, and actually I'll show you that in just a sec. Let's get this one die cut. And then I'll show you that little tag that we just die cut too. Okay, so we're gonna crank this one back through. Okay. Oh, 1239, do you guys see I've got, <laughs> It's not my Apple Watch, it's my son's Apple Watch, and he wasn't really wearing it. So I was like, Cade, could I try your Apple Watch? And now I'm like more than a little bit obsessed with it. Like, what time is it? What's the weather? How many calories have I burned? How many steps? Have I closed all my circles? Um, yeah, it's gonna get a little bit nutty around here, I think. <laughs> anyway, okay, so here is the tag that I was talking about. So you can see these little guys on the side right there. So it's already perforated, so it folds nicely, pretty nicely. <laughs> um, if I could see it a little bit better, right, that would be helpful. It's funny because it's almost like, um, it does, it's me, it's me and I folded it funny. So now it's like all wonky in there. Okay, but so those go like that, right? And then this thing uh, folds up. There we go, okay, there. So that's how it works, right? So we're gonna put adhesive on these little guys. That's gonna go there. And then that little bit opens right there. So you could put a gift card right inside there. So I think that's kind of fun to just put that right on like the belly band. So can you see here? So they would untie the bow and then that thing would just pop right open. Okay, so again, we are going to use, and I'm gonna, I don't know why I don't run it fully, um, but I loved using this little silicone mat so I don't get adhesive all over my uh, work paper, all over my grid paper. So that goes there. We're gonna fold that guy up right there and right there. And if you get some extra adhesive, which I kind of see hanging off the side there, if you just kind of run your finger on there, you can get that off the edges, right? There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna press really firmly though, because I want to make sure 
that it stays tight. You could even use the seal plus so that then when you do that, you can just slip your gift card right inside there, right? So we're gonna decorate our tag a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to, we'll flip those over. I'm gonna put a little, a couple mini dimensionals on the back there, but we're gonna use this designer series paper. <coughs> okay. And we're just gonna pop that right on there. And then we're gonna add our made with love. And you'll see how you won't even see the back of that. Hello, Charlene. How are you today? Okay, we've got that. Now we're gonna put dimensionals, little mini ones behind our made and love banners. And we're gonna just cover right up, basically. So you don't even really know that those are stamped under there, but I like kind of popping those up, adding that little dimension on there, right? There we go, there's our made with love. And then, here's my card, I'm like, where'd my card go? So I wanted to make sure, um, you know what? Isn't that funny? Now I'm looking, I'm like, okay, it does go, right? Let's slip that on there. Yeah, there we go, okay? So I want it kind of offset to the right-hand side there like that. So I'm gonna do that maybe right about there, okay? So I just want to add a good amount of adhesive so I can get this thing laying on there, right? Okay, press firmly. We are going to actually slide that little baby off. I used some of my iridescent ribbon because I thought there was a lot going on with this. And you could actually, this might be another one where maybe you don't want to loop that through. Let's just tie a bow and stick it on the top so that then it would be really easy and you keep everything intact too, right? So you don't have to undo the bow to be able to get to the gift card, right? Okay. So again, I've got my mega glue dots there. But if we do that right there, then you could still slip your gift card in there. Can you guys see that glare is bad again? I thought I moved, but apparently not enough. <laughs> oh, well. Okay, as long as you guys can kind of see what I'm doing here, right? Okay, so we're gonna slip that back on there. Okay. Yeah, I kind of like that idea because then you can just slip your gift card holder right in there. If you're worried about it falling out, then just tie it up like that one is. But if not, you got that right there. And then I think where are my, I added a few of my iridescent rhinestones. I liked that idea with the little iridescent ribbon. Add a couple of the iridescent rhinestones. And let's see. So I did one on the sentiment. We're going to use the little baby ones, right? Okay. Okay. So I put one down here, and then I just sprinkled a couple more like I love to do, just kind of sprinkled a few on our card, and maybe one right there. So there we go, ladies. What do you guys think? Pretty fun, huh? Right, a little card with a gift card holder inside, okay? So, Thank you guys so much as always for watching today. Here is the new host code for November, basically the 77SEJBC4. <coughs> Excuse me. Put an online order in of at least $50 using that host code. You're going to get both of these cards as a thank you from me. You get to pick from the demo design dream team PDF tutorial as an additional thank you, or the fine sparkle gems. <coughs> and, <coughs> excuse me, oh. and that tickle is bad now. You also get your name in the drawing for the Graceful Tiles stamp set. Bump your order up to $50, <coughs> excuse me, $100. Bump your order up to $100, and you also get five additional handmade cards as a thank you from me. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. <coughs> Excuse me. Apparently, I've talked like two minutes too long. 
Anyway, I will see you guys right back here next Friday, one week from today uh, for our next Facebook Live. I hope you guys have a great weekend, a great Halloween. Don't forget, go blue, and we will see you guys next Friday. Bye. Thanks, everybody.